Good morning, students. Let's start microeconomics chapter number six, banking. First of all, we will see the definition of banking. What is meant by banking? So, the bank, according to the Banking Regulation Act, nineteen forty-nine, defines banking as accepting for the purpose of lending and investing of deposit of money from the public repayable on demand order or otherwise and withdrawable by the check draft order or otherwise so this is the definition of that uh, banking that uh, banking is uh, doing most probably banking works are for us only the people those who are using the facility of the banking uh, we are using banking system actually when bank is a part of a financial system which is uh, made for us for the general people and uh, it makes it easy to that we can um, take money if we require financial system is one of the uh, one which supplies the necessary financial input for the production of goods and services economics development of any country depend on the existence of well organized financial system um, actually the financial system of any country uh, helps to the people also to the business also and to the government also if the financial system is very proper it is in the way then and they are providing proper goods and services according to the country according to the uh, people then that country will be depend country will develop so that is the main uh, system so here the financial system, financial assessments uh, are financial intermediators and market and instruments all are depend on the banking only because uh, uh, banking is not a name of a place or thing. It is a play, it is a name of a system. So that is the thing. There has been a rapid development in the banking institution in the various countries with development. Various system of banking have come into the existence bank can be classified on the basis of volume of uh, operators business patterns and areas of uh, um, the common things actually what is the thing there is a uh, rapid development a banking system i already told you banking is a bank is not a name of a place but it is a name of a system that is uh, uh, depend how you have to be develop it and if you are your system is proper your system is very convenient for all your system is very uh, on the proper way it will come then automatically the other system other things are going to be very easily so when the banking system is proper then what happened the development is also good growth is also uh, increasing and uh, how the system is working the system operators are there how to operate that thing that is depend on the system so we have to be very much focus on the system what the uh, system we are using in our country so our uh, financial system is also improved and our country will be developed developed the country Common banking systems are uh, branch banking, unit banking, corresponding banking, deposit banking, investment banking, mixed banking, universal banking. We will see these terms uh, in the chapter uh, coming. Classification of the banking. Banking institutions are indivisible by the part of the modern developing con so society. On the basis of function performed, bank can be classified as follows. So what is the thing bank institutions are indispensable part of a modern developing society because all of us are depend on the banks. We, if we want money, then we are depend on the bank. If we want to deposit the money, then we are also depend. If we want to transfer the money, then we are also required the bank. So on that thing. So what happened? Banks are uh, divided into parts. So what is the bank, how the bank are divided? The function of uh, banks are divided into two parts. First of all, the function of banks in three Indian banking universe is divided into three parts, public sectors bank, foreign bank, or private banks. So first of all, and then we will divide it into two parts, that is commercial bank and the central bank. The commercial bank, first of all, we will discuss here about the functions of the commercial bank, then we will explain the next thing. 
So there are two types of function that is done by the commercial bank. First of all, I will tell you what is commercial bank. Commercial bank is a primary unit of Indian banking system. Uh, uh, like other uh, businesses, commercial bank also aim to earn the profit. And for this, they offer a variety of service for the, to their customers. Uh, commercial bank is an institution which performs the function of ex accepting loans, uh, deposits, granting loans, making investment with the aim of earning profit. Um, some of the commercial bank names are SBI, first of all, in India, State Bank of India, then Punjab National Bank, Allahabad Bank, Canara Bank are some examples of the commercial bank. Now, what are the functions of the commercial bank? The function performed by the commercial bank can be categorized in two parts. One is the primary function, another is the secondary function. So now we will discuss about what are the primary function and what are the secondary function. So let us discuss about the primary function of the commercial banks. Uh, primary functions, uh, main uh, business are accepting deposits and advancing of loans, but it works another, another works also done by the um, primary function, in the primary function. So first is, is ex expecting loans, uh, deposits, uh, and uh, advancing of loan or credit creation. We can discuss about that. So first, uh, it is the most important function of the commercial bank. They accept deposit in several forms according to the requirement of the different section of the society. The main kind of deposits are current account deposit or demand deposit, fixed deposit, saving deposit, so these are the main functions of the uh, primary function. So primary uh, function of the bank. So current deposit, what, we, what is the current deposit? Um, these deposits refers to those deposits which are repayable by the bank on demand. Such deposits are generally maintained by the businessman uh, with the uh, intention of uh, making the transaction which uh, such deposits, they can be drawn up to the check without any restriction. Bank do not pay any interest on the, these accounts. Rather, bank uh, impose a service charge also on running these accounts because those are only for the business purpose. That is why. Next is a fixed deposit or the time deposit. We can say that fixed deposit already we know about that. Uh, fixed deposit refers to those deposit in which the amount is deposited with the bank for a fixed period of time. That is why it's another name is time deposit also. Such deposit do not enjoy checkable uh, facility. They are providing, but they will take the charge for that and intentionally continuously if we are doing the transition from this, uh, this account that is not a, um, uh, uh, done by this bank. These deposits carry the high rate of interest because uh, it is for a fixed time. Why the, um, when the government is, uh, uh, banks are just uh, investing their money in the big units or in the uh, long-term plans, that is why they, what they are doing, the fixed deposit amount they are depositing in them. So that is why if you are asking it again and again, they are not providing that. In the saving deposit, they are doing this thing also. But say in the saving deposit, next is saving deposit. Uh, this deposit combine features of both the current account deposit and the fixed account deposit. The depositors are given the check facility to withdraw the money from their account. But some restrictions are imposed on numbers and amount of the withdrawal in order to discourage frequent use of the saving deposit. I already told you that uh, continuously we are not using doing the transaction from it. Uh, they carry the rate of interest uh, which is less than uh, interest from the fixed deposit because in the fixed deposit what happened we will fix some amount for, for, for a particular time when it's a uh, time completed then we will take out that amount. If we required some time uh, very essential for us so we will be drawing in between from that account, but uh, that some with some restrictions with the some um, maybe they will do the rate of interest also come at that time. That is on dependent the policies of the bank, so that is the thing.
next year topic we are discussing about the advancing of the loans and credit creation the deposit received by the bank are not allowed to the remain late for some uh, after uh, keeping certain cash reserve the bank is given no needy borrowers and interest in charge from there which is uh, uh, the main source of income for these banks different type of loans and advance made by the commercial bank first is cash credit cash credit refers to the loan given to the borrowers against his current assets like shares stocks bonds etc uh, the credit limit is a sanction and the amount is credited in his account the borrower may withdraw wherever he or she wants Uh, any amount within his credit limit and interest is charged on the uh, amount actually whatever he or she withdraw so that is the thing next is uh, demand loans demand loans refers to those loans which can be recalled on demand uh, by the bank uh, any time uh, the entire sum of the demand loans is credited on the account and the interest is payable on the entire sum whatever you are asking they will charge on that thing also and uh, for the entire whatever is there they will uh, just uh, charge for them also short term loans they are given to as a personal loan against uh, some uh, uh, collateral securities the money, uh, money is credited to the account of the borrower and uh, borrower can withdraw the money from his account and interest will be payable on the entire sum of loan to be granted whatever he has he or she has taken we will just done, uh, give the um, take the in bank is the interest on that but they will provide the thing to them so this is the thing next is secondary function of the banks so secondary function are also divided into two parts so agency services and general utility services so first of all we will discuss about the um, agency uh, services so the function transfer of fund bank provide the facility to the economics economical and easy remittance of uh, the 